welcome back to our channel Hacked by I'm Sasha Ro is not here with me today but I trust you will stay with me alone as I give you a quick tour of our renovation or home renovation guys we haven't been able to do much work on the project on this project in a few months but we're hoping to pick up now and complete some key spaces in our home and before i show you those spaces i just want to give you guys an update on some of the spaces we were working on late last year i feel like kind of leave on a hanging on some of the spaces that we were trying to complete so let's jump right in and talk about the third bedroom that we we're working on the office as well as the dining room and then we're going to take a look at where we are with our primary bedroom and all the things that we hope to complete in that space. We have a lot planned. I'm very excited about it as you can tell. We have to be realistic at the same time, right? Because we do have full-time jobs and we do have a very active two-year-old who seems to just find him strength. So we really have to pace ourselves with what we are doing on this project, but we're hoping to complete a lot of it very soon. And as usual, we are going to be sharing that with now before we jump into the tour, we have a series on All About Construction in Jamaica. If you haven't checked it out, then go ahead and check it out because we do have a lot of information from breaking ground right up to decking your roof, the exterior finishes as well. So we want to add to that inventory of videos and talk about tiling. Um, that's one of the things that we'll be doing in one of the rooms that we're finishing. So if you have any questions about tiling, please ensure that you leave it below. We want to also cover drywalling, so leave your questions below for those two things. And we'll definitely try to answer them in our videos and in our execution of the projects. Another thing before we jump into the video is, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, guys. You need to subscribe if you are here and you haven't yet subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so that you're alerted whenever we upload a video give us a thumbs up right where is it thumbs up yeah and share it with your friends So we can say that we are 95% done with this space. I love how this wall came out and I think it really complements the crown molding that we put in. Guys, this panel wall is PVC and honestly, I just glued it on, caulked it and painted it the same color as the wall. I'm actually love how it come out. One of the things that I want to do in here is to probably put up some pictures um, in this area and I want to put some wine racks on here so in the coming weeks or so we'll get that done we we'll also have to put in some baseboard so that... what is that that is a whole house project right which we we'll want to do one time because we want to keep it consistent throughout so we'll be without baseboards for some time um, just a bit about the crown molding as well. The crown molding is foam. <laughs> um, but it looks really good, guys. You could I never tell. If I didn't say it, you probably would not know. Right? Um, and this area is to become a sitting area. These are the outdoor chairs, but they're here to see if the space will actually be used to sit in. And I've been sitting there, I don't know, subconsciously, consciously. Um, just to say that the space is being used. Uh, we also need to get just a bit more furniture. I want to get a sideboard for this area. Royal, you're going to mash it up? Stop dropping it like that. Go and sit down and play. No? There he goes. 
Right, so I want to get a sideboard for this area um, just to make the dining room a little bit more functional and I don't know if my walls are going to survive this will be painting for a while to come <laughs> so let's see but um yeah I'm really happy with how this dining room is looking I love the wall and I feel like I want to do it do this design to all the other walls let's see what the future holds we still have um, a few more rooms to complete so those are our priority now <laughs> Welcome to the new office. Uh, now, if you remember the old space, we had a window right here, but because we did the extension and now we have a room behind here, we had to close up this window um, to make the space more of an office space, right? And to keep the room private. Now, we did a bit with the wall because we wanted to kind of elevate the look so that it looked a little bit more like an office. Um, we did a green paneling on the wall, which I love. And for the, the shelf, we basically took it down and we did a whitewash over it. So we had to sand and remove all of the stain that was there before. And then we did a paint wash. So it has a lighter color to complement the green wall. Had to keep the couch because rory is very dependent on it right if he's not here taking his meetings he's in the couch taking his meetings so it comes in really handy in this office and one of the things that i love the most about this space is the fixture all right guys let me find the remote it's right here and let me show you how this works and I'll leave a link for this below. If you're interested, then you can go ahead and check it out. Um, note that any links that I leave below are affiliate links. And if you make a purchase using the links, then I will get a, we will get a small percentage of the commission. Um, just FYI, it doesn't cost you any more to purchase using our link. But here we go, guys. All right. So the light has different colors. It has different temperatures um that's one and the cool thing or the thing that i love the most is this Aww. and it nice to see guys it's directly over the desk and because the space is small it really works in this space whenever i work in the office in this office i really enjoy this direct fan right over my head and it's so cool guys look at look at it and when it stops, it slows down and it retracts. All right, enough of this fan. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this. Um, it's a retractable fan. Really cool. Really, really cool feature, especially in this small space. I had to show you that. Um, we have a few more things to do in here, like tidy up the cables in the corner and tidy up the cables on the top right there we couldn't really move them much so we probably have to do some trunking to contain them some cable management and we'll put up probably a board on the wall so that we can make notes um, and keep a tab of our tasks and then that's pretty much it the office is up to the board here office is pretty much done it's complete and of course, I have my book collection. Roy does a read, so all of these are mine. <laughs> As a quick bonus, I'm going to show you what Royal's bathroom looks like. Um, 
just a quick look at the before and at the current state of it a lot of the things in here with the exception of like the vanity and the tub area are upcycled items so the mirror was somewhere else and we took it and put it here the light was somewhere else when we replaced that light we put it in here and all of those things the tiles are from creative guys and we just love the black and white look it's so timeless for me even the floor tiles are from creative and these are non-skid non non-slip tiles so it's safe for the bathroom which is something that we considered and um yeah my love for the bathroom it turn out it's a real 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 change compared to what it used to look like before Welcome to bedroom number three, four, no, three, my lose count now. <laughs> but um, guys, we completed this bedroom last year, except for some of these finishing touches. This was the mirror that was in Royal's bathroom, and we moved it into this bedroom to create a nice little sitting area here. It's currently acting as, as our guest bedroom, so me and persons come over to stay if they don't want to sit on the bed immediately they can just sit on the chair now we have this really nice runner here to tie in the colors of the bedroom <laughs> as you can see um, I got this at Dunn's on sale I think I paid about three thousand dollars for it so it was a good little buy um, and this is the bed Pretty simple, clean. Uh, if you haven't seen our video on how we did this feature wall, then you need to go and check it out. Um, it's an amazingly easy wall to do, and I think it makes a pretty big impact on this room in particular. Uh, this closet was built from material from another closet. So like the glass was in another closet and we salvaged it, the doors as well. Um, were a part of another closet in the same house and we salvaged them. Um, we did some shelving in the closet so we could store things in here with ease and we did put up a rod. Now we still have a little bit of finishing to do in these areas but for the most part this room is 95% complete and just to give you guys a uh, understanding or an appreciation for it this room is one is a part of the extension that we did we didn't have enough of the floor tiles here and so we had to border with a wood look which i think came out pretty well again this is another space that will need some baseboards but like i said that's uh that is a project that will be done for the entire house at one time so that we can maintain the same look throughout show you the space that we want to work on in the coming weeks and probably even months we want to finish the space so that we can call it our own and finally say that our project is 95% completed because it's never done right the renovation work is never done all right guys last but most certainly not least the room without a door which is going to serve as our owner suite, or a primary suite, or a master, as people still call it. We have quite a bit of work to do in here. As you can see, <laughs> we don't know. Well, we know that we're not going to be able to find by the tiles to match this. So we can either do an expensive solution or a cheap matched up one. And trust me, I'm leaning towards the expensive one, which is to retail the entire room to match the bathroom. But to continue the story, so we'll see. We also had a wall here which we removed and said so the wall has a don't know if you can see no. But yeah, the wall isn't straight, so we have to find a solution for that. 
the ceiling fell down so we also have to fix that area and we still have to paint in here we still have a lot of drywall work to do this is going to be the closet and the bathroom still have a lot of work to do in here but 2023 it shall be finished I'm really looking forward to it because I'm ready to move into this bedroom and enjoy the space. Right. Lots of work to do in here. And when we did this addition, and if you haven't seen it, we have quite a bit of videos with this extension. Very informative videos, so go and check them out. But when we did this, we made the ceilings higher in this section than over here. You can actually tell. Yeah, you can tell which i love i wish we could erase all of the ceilings to that height but yeah we still have this door to block up <laughs> we're making progress guys we will definitely get there Alrighty. all right guys so i hope you enjoyed our house tour um again if you stuck around to the end of the video thank you so much guys for watching this video don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe and definitely go ahead and share it until next time guys stay safe 